guys, welcome back to All Dolled Up. Today I've got a tutorial for you featuring some of the new products from the Chanel La Rouge collection. Uh, we were very kindly sent some of the collection from the lovely people at Chanel. Um, this collection is based on obviously the colour red, which was one of Coco Chanel's favourite colours. And it was curated by their new creative director, Lucia Pica. So I'll show you some of the products from the collection. This is my favourite, an absolute showstopper. This is the eyeshadow quad, which has a really beautiful camel colour, two darker browns, and then this red, which is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Well, I had my reservations about having a red eyeshadow, but I needn't have because it is absolutely magnificent. And this is the first all matte eyeshadow quad from Chanel, which makes it probably also one of my favorites because I do genuinely tend to prefer matte shadows. Next is this really stunning blusher. It's a very vibrant um, pink, as you can see. I haven't used this in the tutorial today just because I was a little bit concerned that it might have clashed with the red on the eyes. I thought it might be just a little bit too bold. This is in the color 330 Rose Petillon. Absolutely stunning. Then, which is what I've got on my nails today, this is their new red nail polish. Absolutely stunning. This is in the color 528 Rouge Poussant. Uh, they've reformulated all of their nail polishes, so I now get great wear from this, whereas before the polishes that I used, I would get kind of quite severe chipping within a day or so. This has, it's not the case with these new um, polishes. I've been getting five to seven days wear from these polishes. Julia got nine days from when she tried it, which is super impressive. It's it's the perfect red, I think. It reminds me a lot of the OPI, um, the Thrill of, Thrill of Brazil. It's a really lovely, lovely, juicy, punchy, show-stopping red. So love that. Uh, next is an eyeliner. This is their long-lasting waterproof eyeliner in Agape. So this is a really stunning brown with a bit of shimmer run through it, and it's really soft and blendable and buttery. It also it was a twist up as you can see and it rather handily has a little sharpener on the other side so that you can get the point nice and sharp again if you want to do some more precise eyelining. I found that this wears relatively well. I wouldn't say it's the most long wearing eye eyeliner I've ever tried but the color is stunning and it's still it's Chanel. Next to two lipsticks, these are the Rouge Allure Velvets in Rouge Tout Blanc and Rouge Fur. So this is a beautiful, I mean just look at this packaging for a moment. You click out the bottom and then you pop it open. I mean absolutely beautiful 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 so this is a, a really nice kind of fiery red and then this one is more of an orangey oh i mean there are a few things as beautiful as seeing the bullets of a lipstick come out like that and it's just got the chanel embossing on it and oh it's so beautiful these are both matte and um, lip colors so if you are into matte lipsticks and you want to treat yourself then these definitely would be the way to go we'll put a full description of the entire collection together with the pricing in the description box below it has been available since the 12th of august so now's the time if you want to get your hands on this limited edition collection if you want to see how it translates onto my face then just keep watching so I'm going to start by taking this camel color and I'm going to wash it all over the lid. This is a really beautiful neutral kind of everyday eyeshadow and I've actually been wearing it a lot just by itself because I think that it's just really flattering and gives the eyes a little lift but is not overly noticeable. Look how pretty that is. And Julia has told me that this is coming up a little warm on camera but in real life it's far more neutral. So don't let that deter you if that was something that crossed your mind while watching this video. Next I'm going to take a mix of the two darker browns and I'm going to put them into the outer third and through the crease to deepen up the look a little bit. These are all really beautiful soft buttery pigments. They blend really well together and they aren't chalky in the slightest. Really, really lovely. Also quite buildable so if you wanted something a bit more intense in pigment it's quite easy to get there. Then taking kind of a small pointed blending brush I'm going to take the mix of all those three browns and just put them under the eye. Next I'm going to take the red on a flat shader brush and I'm going to really pack it on to the center of the lid so you can see just how um, impactful this color is. Um, initially when I saw this palette online before it had been sent to us, I had my reservations about a red eyeshadow because I just thought how wearable could it possibly be without making you look like you're tired or drained and it turns out that it's perfectly wearable and not only that but it is 
really complementary to blue and green eyes particularly and I think it looks absolutely stunning if it's blended out into kind of like a more sheer, sheer wearable eye like this or you can really pack on the pigment if you wanted to make more of a statement say in the evenings or um, for a special event. If you've seen the advertorial with Christian Stewart who's the face of the La Rouge collection you'll see that that look is very much focused on using the red all over kind of around the whole top and bottom of the eye which makes a real statement. As you can see it's it's really really beautiful and I think a lot more wearable than you'd expect it just it's just it's special I think it's a really special color and I've not seen anything like it and for that reason this is definitely my favorite Chanel collection to date so well done Lucia Pica. Next I'm going to be taking the waterproof long long sting eyeliner in Agape this is the color 929 it's a really nice soft brown with a bit of shimmer in it reminds me a lot of Mac Teddy I'm just going to apply that quite roughly on the top and bottom lash lines and smudge it out just to add a little bit more definition It's really, really soft and oh, so easy to work with, really blendable. Okay. So I've just applied some mascara and this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial using some of the new products from the La Rouge collection from Chanel. It has been available since the 12th of August so in, and it is limited, limited edition. So if you want to get your hands on it, then you need to act fast. And thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks, bye. The other product in that collection that I've been using a lot this month is the limited edition bronzing compact. Mm. So as you can see it comes with three different bronzing shades. One of them is slightly kind of satin finish and then a lovely apricot bronze um, blusher in the middle.